Call of Duty 4, and yeah. I, it was a lot of fun. I have played I have played zombies on Call of Duty 4. I've played two versions actually. It was um, I played one where it was a cooperative one where the AI just take control of. Yeah, yeah that's thing. the best one I was playing. That one's really fun, and I've also yeah. played. Um, Weapons over here. I've also played one where it's player versus player zombies. Ooh. That one's challenging, but it's yeah. still enjoyable. I also played. Some... A, I al I know it might sound a bit re redundant, but I also played a Call of Duty Five version of it. Uh. But what's better, zombies with four people or zombies with thirty people, in which if you die, you become a zombie person. <laughs> Yeah, that just sounds better. I mean, I kind of wish they had that in just regular zombies for like Xbox or whatever. Like, if you die, you yeah. become a zombie until everyone dies, I guess. Uh, which but, is basically oh. what happens. <laughs> yeah. But, um, after is it really, you. After a while, you begin to get into a theme of. Yes, I have some money from birthday, from Christmas, from some special occasion, and I want to buy a game with it. Do I buy one of the many generic console games, which will probably die out in maybe a year or so, or do I buy a yeah. PC game, which will last three or four years after the release date? <laughs> yeah, that's one of the reasons why I'm getting Battlefield 3 for the PC, because I know, like, People are all saying how great it's going to be, but I know people on the Xbox are just going to get sick of it because it's not going to be as fast-paced. Yeah. But, but, I mean, people on the PC, uh, they have been playing Battlefield for pretty much ever. Yeah. So they know what it is, and they're not expecting too much or too little from it. They know uh -huh. exactly what they're going to get, and so they're going to be playing it forever. Yeah. Oh, that's... Then again, Team Fortress 2 is also a prime example of this. This game's been out since 2008, and the last update was this month. Yeah. The replay system. Which which shows really Valve's dedication to their gamers and mm. their, their fans. Yeah, and Team Fortress 2 is another good example of people on the console not liking a game for as long, because... I mean, I got the orange box, or I rented the orange box, like, about a year ago, and went on to play Team Fortress 2, and there were pretty much no servers with anybody in it. Yeah. That's, it's sad, because that's such a good game, mm -hmm. but I guess it's just because not all the update they can't put they all can't. the updates and stuff, like, all the weapons that you can yeah. buy on Steam and yeah. on Xbox is, um, because of licensing or whatever. No, it's not a license problem, it's actually a... Um... A memory problem. There's only there's a certain amount of memory each Xbox can hold, and the oh, amount yeah. of updates that have appeared for Team Fortress 2 uh, exceeds that greatly, if I remember <laughs> correctly. Yeah. And um, that makes uh, that makes things pretty hard for them to try yeah. and get, because you know, I think. But I think they could have at least compromised, you know, they could have yeah, at they least... Yeah, they probably could have just put in, like, every couple of the updates that I got was, approved. I was actually thinking just give them the class updates and all the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and all the game type updates so, like, console players could get payload and arena and all yeah. the maps for it. Because, I mean, I am... Pl I playing 2-4 and Dust Bowl all the time is really, really boring. And you need some variety in a game yeah. to keep it alive, which is, which can be attributed to Left 4 Dead 2 and Left 4 Dead as well with the AI director, because that changes every time you play. Mm -hmm. Which is good for replay, because I mean you can play the same thing every single time, okay. and, yeah. um, and it won't get and it will get different, but it will still remain the same at the same time. Yeah, like you'll know. How to do it? It'll just be. It'll play out differently. Yeah, because it won't be the same infected that is there. Yeah. Oh. I mean, what I have on my computer right now is Call of Duty Five, primarily for my dad because he plays that the most. Um, 
I have Black Ops, I have Left 4 Dead 2, I have Team Fortress 2, I have Gary's mod on it, and League of Legends, and that's all I have on this computer. Yeah, it I may, have... It may sound like a lot, but I play quite... I play... I get bored quite quickly with some games, because, you know, it's all, you know, too slow. Oop, I game yeah. lagged a bit there. But it really... Uh, after a while, you get to play the same things, and you meet... And you meet people who are better than you, and you keep playing them if you play on the same server. So therefore, you learn from them, and then you can beat them at their own game. Yeah. <clears throat> when I was watching you um, play Rainbow Six, um, I was watching you snipe, sniping, and I'm thinking, he's playing on the console, so I can see a similarity with this, how slow it is. Yeah. If you play, if you play on the PC, then you see some very fast snipers. Yeah, I mean, especially in Battlefield, yeah. uh, Bad Company too. Like, um, I just watched a, a aggressive sniping montage for the for Battlefield Bad Company two on the PC, and it does not, it like the gameplay does not even look like that battlefield on the xbox just because of how fast it looks and it looks like it's call of duty because he's going so fast yeah. and that's just because it's on the pc mm. like, i mean the, i don't, the I don't know if you've seen that, that montage but I'll, i mean i'll link it to you in skype after this it is insane uh, but the, i will give the console something in the when games like assassin's creed they play more fluidly to me, yeah. console, just because you can like jump from rooftop to rooftop very easily. Yeah, I mean, I downloaded uh, the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood on my computer, and I don't know, I just didn't didn't really like the way it played because of how I don't know, I just didn't really it didn't seem to like work with the keyboard and stuff. So yeah, like some games, it's definitely better for consoles, but I mean, like first-person shooters, I definitely think that it's PC yeah. all the way. Oh yeah, because of the fast reaction times you can have with a mouse. Yeah. I mean, and for example, and let's, let's aiming let's, and stuff. Let's take the smoker for example, <laughs> or perhaps this tank. On the PC, on the PC, you can just shoot very easily. Yeah. You can take them out really quickly. Whereas on the console, you have two joysticks to use, yeah. and you have to constantly flick them to actually get. A decent um, to actually have a decent aim. Yeah, and with PC you can just smoothly aim. <laughs> smoothly and... save me from my jockey. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, I was used to playing uh, COD 4 on the PC for a while, and then I think like a couple of days ago I went back on it on the Xbox, and I just could not aim. I couldn't get like the right sensitivity or anything, just because like. Zoomed out, it was too fast. Yeah. And zoomed in, it was right. But then if I turned it down, it would be too slow zoomed in. And so, I don't know. It just couldn't find the sweet spot with just that joysticks. But with this, I mean, you can control it so much better. And you've heard all the complaints about um, about Black Ops where, oh, no, sniping is absolutely horrible. They haven't added that into the PC. They haven't added in the thing that they... Yeah, I heard about that, how, like, the <laughs> sniping patches have only been on Xbox, just, oh. or Xbox and PS3, just because it's pretty much played completely different. Yeah. I mean, I can, I can take the L96 and Black Ops, and I can go positive with it. That's... Yeah. Especially in maps like Havana and stuff, I can go positive yeah. in that with a sniper rifle.